All right, I'm going to show you how to use Bluekit in your classroom in a super fun way. So I'm going to show you one of the games. Okay, um, I just like to remind you in settings, which is right here, if you would be so kind, when you click add refer, add my username, Mrs. Jenkins, uh, I would appreciate it. So let's look at the one that I just built and let's host a game. Okay. And I'm going to choose first the classic, which this is very similar to a lot of other um, sites, okay? Um, I like to do this, randomized question order, okay? You may want to just do a few questions, just a 10 question. You could include the whole set, but you're going to have to go through all the questions if you do that. So let's just pick a small number, um, 10. Actually, let's just do five just for the purpose of this. So here I am hosting it. Here is how students would join, lukit.com slash play and this code, but I'm gonna copy this link and join as a student, just so you can see what it looks like. Here we go, it pops up. I'm gonna enter my name. Okay, it says I'm waiting in the lobby. I can alternate and choose what I want, all right? But here as the host, I'm going to have to click start. Otherwise, everybody just sits hanging out waiting for me. So here is the host side. Notice it's a 15 second countdown. I can see the timer up here, okay? And I'm gonna choose an answer, okay? And it tells me I'm right, that's awesome. I got four points. I'm still waiting for that timer to finish, okay? So on the host side, you can see, I'm just showing the standings. All right, same thing's happening for students. Okay, so here I am still as a student, and then I get the next question, okay? So it's gonna go through that timer, okay? And if I choose the wrong answer, uh, it's gonna tell me, okay? It's also going to tell me the correct answer, but notice once I click something, that's it. I can't go back and change my answer. So sometimes that does get frustrating for some students, Again, we're just going to finish this short five question one just so you can kind of see the process. Okay, so we just have a couple more questions left and we answer the question. But again, remember, I'm waiting for that timer to run out that cycle. Okay, and I'm just going to pause this as we finish up so then you can see the end. Okay, here we are. I just finished up my last question. So you can see what happens. All right, here we're gonna get a score. I need to choose this at the end. Ooh, I got a nice multiplier. And it's going to um, give me some tokens for that. Uh, you can spend them just on some of those avatars that were locked, okay? And as the teacher, you're gonna see this. You can view report as the teacher. And you're gonna be able to see um, how many answers right, how many answers wrong. Uh, you're going to have to upgrade if you want a detailed report, but you're going to see everyone who is logged in, uh, how many correct, how many incorrect. Okay, so super useful, super fun. Uh, this one is probably the least exciting version of the game, so I'm going to show you other ones. But this one students are familiar with. It's nice. You can just set it for just questions. But again, there is a lag if students finish um, the question early. There's a little bit of waiting on their end um, since it's going by that timer. Okay, but still um, a great game for review.